Hello everybody, welcome back to another Manchester United news video. Now in this video we'll be talking about the Bruno Fernandes latest. There's reports that he will be going um, to Bayern Munich. We'll be talking about Garnacho as well. Um, and yeah, there hasn't been too much news, but obviously there is stuff to obviously break around Manchester United as there always is. But it was coming in from a Portuguese outlet that Manchester or Bayern Munich are in talks with Bruno Fernandes agent Miguel Pino. Barcelona have also expressed strong interest within Fernandez. Fernandez will now start preparing for the Euros with Portugal, while his agent could finalise his move away with Manchester United. A source close to the player, both from a source close to the player, both Bayern Munich and Barcelona have made contact with Bruno Fernandez to inquire about the conditions of a transfer, and may soon concrete and may uh, make concrete moves soon. Well, listen on Bruno Fernandez. We know what a great player he is, and I've had my say. He's been linked to a lot of clubs this summer. Um, and he's obviously talked about his desire to stay at Manchester United as well more than anything and that's something that obviously you have to take into consideration mm. yes the player um, or the agent might look to make moves externally and um, while, while obviously Bruno Fernandes focuses on um, the European Championships but still um, still, Bruno Fernandes obviously have a part to say in that as well. I think with Bruno Fernandes, it's clear his what his intentions are. He wants to stay at Manchester United, and he wants to be at the club for the foreseeable future. And that's something that we all obviously want to happen, or something we all want to see. I think Bruno Fernandes, despite his some of his poor performance this season, he has got um, some goals and assists this season. Has been a key part of our team, regardless of. What some people may say. Um, I think despite the lack, that despite the, the injuries that he's had, the poor results that Manchester United have, he's been a very, very good player for us. And one thing you can say about Bruno Fernandes, he is very, very consistent. He, he ended this season, I think, on 25 goals and assists for the season. Um, an instrumental player of Eric Ten Hag's team. And obviously he's someone who... He has previously said if the club don't want me, he will happily leave the club. And that's something that is down to the club. I think they gave him, he's got a contract until 2027 at Manchester United. So it's down for us to kind of um, take charge if we want to give Bruno Fernandes a deal. I think he does deserve one. I think, listen, he can certainly be a player that can be in a title winning team. And that's obviously something Manchester United are building for. As I said, he's... He's consistently consistently available. He has a lot of quality. He's an important player for Manchester United. And I think the, the best thing that he shows is that he gives 100% in every game. Now, with the talks, if if a huge offer does come in for Bruno Fernandes, Manchester United will probably have to consider it. Um, and that would probably be from... Obviously, Saudi have been interested... Um, as well as many other clubs, so we we could see a Bruno Fernandes exit this summer, but as of now, it's only links with Bruno Fernandes, his agent, and other clubs. We understand that enough is concrete yet, but there definitely is stuff going on. That's why it was on Fabrizio Romano's story. He only reports stuff if they're very, very credible. So listen, it could be just something that always happens—a re regularity with Bruno talking with other clubs. Um. His agent talking with other clubs, but for me, I don't think anything concrete will happen. Barcelona, listen, they could be, if he, if he does go to Barca, he could get a swap deal with Frankie de Jong. Bayern Munich, obviously, they've got a very, very strong team as well in Musiala. So I wonder why they would be interested, obviously, with Vincent Kompany of the manager. That may be someone he's obviously identified to come into the team. Um, but but we, we'd, un, we'd unsure of that. But certainly has got links to other clubs as well. He's been linked to. This, this summer, I think, is a very, very important at Manchester United. Be very, very careful with the Bruno Fernandes deal. And I think he, despite, as I said, his lack of performances this season, he has been a very, very key part of our squad, a contender for player of the season, consistently improving as well. The captain of a team, someone who inspires many um, and a key part of the Manchester United squad. Now, to conclude, I wanted to talk about uh, Alejandro Garnacho now. Man there was a report a few weeks ago that Alejandro Garnacho will be going to the Manchester uh, sorry to the, the Olympics now. Manchester United have reportedly prevented that from happening. 
and this and work work on that you might feel disheartened by something like that i think it's ultimately best for his career and development i mean playing 40 odd games in a season ain't easy and he kind of needs to rest his body a little bit because listen you can't play that many games we've seen the tallest had on players like pedri and gavi when they've done that for for spain in recent times and um, i think the body's really really important um and yeah we got we got to manage garnacho's minutes effectively i think garnacho he's been a he's been a key part key part of our squad this season and he's someone who's continuing to develop we can't afford to we have to kind of manage the workload is what i'm trying to say with him because as i said if you play too many games you can pick up injuries it'll kind of affect your career later on so that's the latest on garnacho um and yeah bruno just lastly bruno to buy munich is something that i don't want to happen obviously um i want him to stay at manchester united i want him to be in that team he's consistent um reliable um and does everything and wants manchester united to win i don't think he'd be the list of my priorities to, for manchester united to get rid of this summer remember it's going to be a huge summer for Ineos this summer getting rid of loads of players so i don't think bruno fernandez should be the priority the Manchester United look to get rid of, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to drop a like. This has been the latest Manchester United news. I think it's some very, very interesting topics that we discussed. There'll obviously be more breaking news um, and more news as the summer window goes on. Don't forget to drop um, and have a look at the, the homepage where there'll be loads of topic videos talking about individual players. We've done a few transfer uh, videos. There's a keep loan or sell of each player coming this in the next couple of days so stay tuned for that um, and yeah we'll be keeping you up to date here throughout the transfer window but have your say um in the comment section below would you have bruno fernandez to you saudi by munich um saudi by munich or other clubs barcelona because he definitely will be a player that's interested as his agent is already looking around um, for other clubs, there's been something that's going on. As I said, Bruno Fernandes is fully focused on the Euros right now. And his decision, a decision will probably be made after the European Championship, what happened with Bruno. But there is there is a slight, slight possibility that he does leave Manchester United this summer. Um, and that's going to be something that we're going to have to replace him with. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Peace.